And more amazing pictures, a scary case of road rage on the 14 freeway. And now police are looking for that motorcyclist who kicked his bike into high gear and then kicked the side of a car. You know, we need to talk about something uh, that I feel that can help save a lot of motorcycle riders from having a real fucked up day. And that's avoiding road rage. Let's go for a ride. Watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. You know, we've got these cars out here that bother us sometimes. It can be very frustrating and very irritating to, uh, like that guy's got his highs on right now that's irritating the heck out of me, man. And you know, I know sometimes we get a lot of rage, especially when they mess with us. They, they ride up close on us. Or like what happened to me on the highway where a car almost side swiped me and went on the other uh, uh, illegal side of me on the right side and passed me by which scared the crap out of me. And I had a lot of anger when that happened, man. Oh, look at that. It's crazy, man. Is he crazy? What the hell's wrong with this dude? I wanted to go chase that car down and beat his doors and bust his window. You know what I'm saying? But then uh, I started to think and I said, yo, you know what? That's not smart. <laughs> that dude is in a very heavy, is in a big uh, two ton tank of steel. You know what I'm saying? That can mow me down at any time. Or, and it can also me damaging his car. This guy may have a gun or something, you know, may pull it out. He may, who knows what, what can happen to you. It's, it's just not smart to get angry out here and cause problems. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I tell you guys, when you do that type of stuff, attack cars like that, you know, what can happen is that they, they'll start, they'll hate bikers, you know what I'm saying? And then the next thing you know, they'll have this chip on their shoulder when they see a biker, they maybe want to mess with it or, uh, you know, pick on the biker or whatever. I've seen a lot of that, dude. I used to watch a show called uh, Unsolved Mysteries, which is one of my favorite shows. And I saw, you know, it was a car, he did something, and they uh, attacked him, busted his mirror. And I tell you, that guy got a lot of rage, and he tried to mow down those bikers, man. And he actually, one of them got killed. He ran them off the road. The smart thing to do, instead of using your brawn and your emotion of your anger, Go up to the car driver if you come up to him and talk to him with some sense and try to educate him and let him say, hey man, you know, that's not, I said, I would appreciate it if you don't ride up on me or whatever happened to your, in your situation, why don't you talk to him with some sense, or him or her, and educate him and uh, so they feel good about it. so they they'll feel bad about what they did but they won't get super angry about it and they'll learn from it so maybe they they'll know in the future to keep their distance from motorcycle riders and uh, and they'll be more maybe be more sensitive to, to motorcycle riders you can turn a negative into a positive because I tell you guys two negatives will not make a positive you know, yeah, he did something negative to you and you go do something crazy negative to him. You're not going to get a positive out of that situation. You know, I see far too many bikers out here get their butts handed to them and end up in motorcycle heaven because of their emotions. They let their emotions take over and, uh, you know, and then they get attacked by a car or whatnot like that guy in the Unsolved Mystery segment, you know, where they broke the mirror and then he went and mowed it down a couple of bikers. It's just, he it was stupid. You know, yeah, you're going to have cars that are going to make mistakes. You're going to have drivers that are texting out there that you're going to, it's really going to piss you off. And you really want to do something about it. But you got to take some time, go up to them, talk to them with some sense, educate them, let them know, hey, you know, that what they just did was highly dangerous. And, uh, talk to them and, and try to instill some passion for them for motorcycle riders you know don't I know it's very easy to lose your temper believe me guys I have a hot temper myself 
but you know as I've gotten older I've tried to stay I've actually been able to control my emotions a lot better than I have in the past you know when I was uh, when I was a teenager I used to just man I have so much rage and I couldn't control it but you got to learn to be able to, to channel that rage and anger that you have into using your brain and making something positive out of it uh, because now it's, it's, it's bad for your health to get angry like that run your blood pressure up you can end up having a stroke for what you know what I'm saying so that's just my opinion on it guys I'm sharing you know I, I try to have some common sense out here but a lot of people don't have no sense <laughs> and a lot of you guys gonna say psycho cruising you're wrong dude you're dead wrong, Psycho Cruiser. You gotta go up there and you gotta bash their hell headlight, or you gotta bash the, the dude. You can't let them get away with that, man. You can't be a little pansy out here, man. Come on. No, you are the fool, man. You gotta use common sense. You gotta use use your brain, guys. You know, use like I said, turn a negative into a positive. But anyways, guys, you know what? At the end of the day, you do what you want to do. It's your life. I'm just trying to help you stay safe out here so you can ride another day. Because these cars out here, you know, they're going to be problematic sometimes. But you got to know how to handle yourself out here. And uh, you might want to check out my top five defensive riding tips that will help keep you safe out here on the streets. That's what it's all about, staying safe out here. But anyways, for those of you guys that want to get my motorcycle gear, you know, my camel pants, my boots, gloves, helmets, all my stuff that you guys ask me about, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos, or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Gear, and those are a bunch of links to all of my gear. And uh, if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos, and those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1,200 plus videos categorized into those playlists. So hopefully you can find something that will inform you, entertain you. Hey guys, hit thumbs up and help. That helps me motiv motivate me to do more videos when you hit thumbs up and you leave a comment. Please leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel and also go check out my Bug Out channel. Bug Out Moto! It showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything Bug Out Moto! As a courtesy I included two video playlists one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.